Hey, what's going on guys? Robert here. It's a hot summer day here in Palm Springs. And we're going to do a little crossbow shooting today here in the backyard. Target is about 20, 25 yards back behind me back here. I'm going to be shooting right from where the camera is on that couch that it's perched on. And what we're going to test is how well this bow, it's a Jaguar, you know, it's a pretty inexpensive bow, but it works pretty good. We're going to shoot the ones, the bolts that came with it, these aluminum 16 inches against this 20 inch carbon fiber bolt. And we're just going to see how well this thing shoots. Rumor is, this thing can't shoot these very well. We're going to see in groups of three which one is more accurate. 16 inch aluminum or carbon fiber 20 inch. So let's see how we do. of a mixed bag. <laughs> the group of carbons is three inches apart. The metal aluminum's down here, that's good, but a couple minor adjustments on my part when I was shooting, I think the carbon did better. They were just more centered. Plus, it's kind of windy today. You can see these blowing around. Might have had a little bit of a factor. Plus, the fletchings on these are screwed up and used and it probably took them off course a little bit. These on the other hand are brand new. So I'm gonna try these again. We'll see how we do. Second round. Round two. It's a bit windy out here today. You can see it's picking up. I'm sure that's got something to do with my shot placement. But we can see here on uh, session number two, I think the carbons are a lot closer of a group here. Right here, all within two inches. But then again, so are these. These are tighter. These two aluminums in the bottom. The only one that's off is this one up here. Again, the fletching's a factor. Um, the weight of these carbons might be a factor because they're bigger. Who knows, guys? All I know is it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. And I'm sold on these carbon bolts for this Jaguar crossbow.